Michigan is a team that averages about 80 points per game. Indiana, about 75. But defense will be a key, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah, Brown gets the first bucket of the game. Well, both teams are going to be testing one another in the paint. Both teams, both buckets in the painted area. Brown and Hillman, the leading scorers for Michigan with the Wolverines' first points. And feeding it, Nas had to go up to get that one and lays it up and in. Up the line there, and Henry Johnson settled for that outside shot. But again, you've got to check off on the inside. A second chance opportunity once again for Michigan. Player who has three triple doubles here this year. Meanwhile, the heavy lifting continues to be from Pepper as Holmes kind of ball just dropped right in. And I also love how many Indiana players are on the Michigan roster. That's, that was quite intriguing to find out as well today. Off the bench, Indiana can use that kind of production for more McNeil. Lisa Nas Hillman leaving the foul line after making both of her free throws. Terry Morin says, hey, we cannot have Nas Hillman at the line. Taking the contact, doesn't matter. Brown gets it, a tough two for Leah Brown. She has not missed a beat, although in her first game, she was at the free throw line a lot. And there's the rim run that Terry Morin said that they had to be aware of. And this isn't a possession where Mackenzie Holmes not in the game here for Indiana. But Patberg is, and she'll take the three, and she'll hit. This team's playing with a little bit of edge here tonight. You can feel it. Again, the only top 15 matchup in the country. Alexa Goulbe firing from distance. You see the advantage points in the paint, plus 12 for Michigan. Now with three to shoot, it's Patberg from the left side this time. She's hitting from everywhere. Again, is the fact that both of those schools have been on long pauses or hiatuses because of COVID protocol and maybe haven't accumulated the number of games that they would like conference record. They had the one game turnaround from their Michigan State game on Tuesday to this game on the road today. Good pass from Brown to Johnson to tie things up. Six now to shoot as Papper gives it up to Cartano Hillary. The three pointers are flying for the Hoosiers tonight. A rare miss for Hillman. It's just her third miss of the game. She's put up 16 points in about 14 minutes of play. Counting on the transition it's nolan with the take right there to clean it up and finish in transition two-point edge now for michigan the turnaround for brown and she's got that soft soft touch and now 13 points in this game really done a good job especially in this second half lisa making things difficult for nas hillman to get clean touches and finish alexa cool bay now has three three-point makes here in this game A lot of that, you know, Mackenzie Holmes has had another slow night. Holmes just six points here. Meanwhile, Grace Berger has found a little bit of her shooting stroke. So all of her eight points have come now in this second half for Indiana. Johnson taking the contact and off the glass for two. Ball is coming in. There's a little bit of a bump to move her off the spot that she wants. Kaiser with the block for Michigan. Getting some early playing time here in the fourth quarter. Times you discover that in game, who you can trust and what kinds of situations. Good move that time. Cartano Hillary beating the whole Michigan defense. For Indiana, as they have not been allowed to get easy looks in there. Holman got double team, leads to the turnover here for Indiana. It's Patberg's first points. Yes, she only averages about six minutes a game, and she has really logged quality minutes in this one on the interior. Gulpe goes up to get it. It gets the undersized Nolan for two. Like that all game. From the jump, it's been like that. Again, they feed Hillman, challenging against Holmes, and she has 21 now for the game. How much meat did we leave on the bone on the free throw line? Michigan as a team has missed five, and there's a strong take from the Indiana leader, Ali Pepper. They missed their last four buckets. They get it into the hands of Hillman, who coughs it up. The tight, tough defense by the Indiana Hoosiers forcing the turnover. Uh -huh. 
it was a competitive fight between Indiana and Michigan.